If you look at this streetcar platform behind me, just imagine it complete with a giant kiosk that will give you real-time information on where to find the nearest happy hour deals. Street lights that control their own brightness based on how much light is actually needed. Even information sent directly to your phone as you're driving around that will help you find the nearest parking spot. Based on what they're currently installing, the options really could be endless. While construction on the streetcar line continues, Kansas City has struck a deal with San Francisco-based Cisco, which will soon allow it to become the world's newest smart city. This is our chance to once again be a leader in technology and innovation. But what does it mean to be a smart city? Besides free public Wi-Fi and countless sensors that could monitor, well, anything, the first thing people will notice will be large touchscreen kiosks at streetcar platforms where people could look up anything city-related. You could plan where you're going to park. You can find what restaurant has an open table for dinner. You could book a ticket to the Kauffman Performing Arts Center. Think Big Partners is teaming up with Cisco in the city to install and manage the technology that will make KC a smart city. They believe the $3.7 million taxpayer investment is well worth it and could even make the city much safer. You might have first responder, uh, you know, not even have to uh, rely on police officers on the street because through algorithms and videos as a sensor, you can find out when problems are happening. Crews have been installing the infrastructure to make all of this happen while working on the streetcar line, meaning it will initially only be the 2.2 mile streetcar route primarily on Main Street that will be this highly advanced. But now that the fabric is laid, it will allow all of downtown to join the network probably sooner rather than later. I think over the course of the next one to two years, people will see a lot of technology that come on a line that save taxpayer dollars and improve the quality of life. The streetcar line and all of its smart components that go with it are still scheduled to be ready for early next year. Reporting live from downtown, Josh Almuth, 41 Action News.